hope you remember me, I'm the person who used to make videos on this YouTube channel but haven't seemed to have done so for the last couple of weeks. So I won't go into too many excuses and things but I've had all sorts of technical issues and laziness issues but I'm here today now to film for you and I'm going to talk about my August favourites. No. September favourite. So it may seem a bit strange doing this pretty much in the middle of the next month, so we're nearly halfway through October now, but I really like doing favourites videos and I hope you'll enjoy watching them too. And I do have quite a lot of things to talk about this month. I feel like sometimes, you know, there's more makeup things in these, sometimes there's more skincare, but this month has definitely been all about hair care products for me. I seem to have been using so, so many different ones, many new ones, um, and just really enjoying loads. So the first things I have here are the L'Oreal Ever Pure range. Now, I talked about the Ever Riche range which is another shampoo and conditioner um, from L'Oreal which got seriously seriously hyped about every blogger had one I think and they were really nice really nourishing and moisturizing shampoo and conditioner but I recently colored my hair you probably can't see that because it's pretty much phased away now I only used a semi permanent on it but I picked up these two and they are the no sulfates color care system so they're designed to kind of help extend your colored hair and just kind of keep it looking nourished and healthy because sometimes when you dye it it can get a little bit dry looking so there's a few different ranges within the colour care and this is actually the volume one. So I didn't find they really extended the colour of my hair for too long. I wasn't really expecting them to because my hair just seems to be a colour free zone. Whenever I put any kind of dye on it, it just doesn't seem to hold for long at all. Um, but I did really like the way that it made it feel. So it's very kind of light and lifting and volumising. Um, not in the way though that some volumising shampoo and conditioners give it a really gritty texturised feel which is supposed to add more body I guess but ends up making it feel a bit weighed down and heavy. Uh, but it was just really light and refreshing and they're quite minty smelling as well so that's quite nice to use in the morning. I've actually been really impressed with the no sulfates range. I think L'Oreal's done a really good kind of collection of products there so I'll definitely try out some more things from that one as well. So I've got a couple of hair products from another brand here as well and these are the Swatchkoff got to be hair styling range and I will admit I bought this hairspray pure because it was bright yellow and I like the packaging but seriously this stuff just holds so so well. I mean when I spray it onto my hair I did overuse it the first time I think. I put way too much on and it just made my hair feel like a crispy lump but if you use this sparingly and you know spray it from quite far away it just really sets the style down but it doesn't leave it feeling you know too tacky or crispy or anything. For those of you who've watched my channel for a long long time should know that I religiously repurchased the Tresemme hairspray but I think this is actually going to be my new favourite one so there we go. I do actually have another hairspray from that range and it's the volumising one and I find this is quite different. I like to spray this into my roots more and just give it a bit of a scrunch up and it just adds so much volume but it's not crispy at all, it's not like a really sticky hairspray, it just gives it a bit of lift, a bit of grit in it, a bit of texture um, so that one's one I've been really loving. And then last of all from that range is probably the most interesting product and it's the volumising spray mousse. So I tend to use mousse in my hair quite often but I think a lot of people are kind of afraid of it looking really wet or you know like it has too much product in it but this stuff is really really cool. I have been watching Kate from the Small Things blog for quite a while and um, there's a product that she uses all the time which is the Aquage Spray Mousse and I think it's only something you can really get a hold of um, in America and I was looking around everywhere for something very similar and then this caught my eye and it basically comes out like a hairspray but it has a really moussey texture to it so it's nothing like one of those big spray mousses that you get usually it just adds a little bit of a layer of it onto the hair but not too much so I don't know if I can show you this. It just gives a really kind of light snow coating through the hair so I just tend to spray this in my roots when it's wet, a little bit through the lengths as well and then blow dry it and it just gives it a lot more hold when it comes to styling. So the last hair product I have here is one you've probably seen in quite a few videos. It's been very very hyped this month and it's the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray and this stuff I can honestly say is so so worth the hype. Everything everybody's saying is true about this. From the first time I used it I just absolutely fell in love with it. The only thing I can think of comparing this to is a dry shampoo so in the way that when you spray that kind of thing through your hair it just gives it this instant lift and volume this does that but without that kind of sticky kind of dry feeling without any of that kind of excess product it just literally feels weightless once you spray it in but it gives so much volume and so much oomph to your hair it's just incredible I use this every time I wash my hair now especially on like the first day you wash it and when it tends to be flatter and just has no life at all the only small little problem I have with this which I really honestly don't care about is after a couple of days of using it and not having washed my hair it does make it feel a little bit more like staticky like it kind of 
stands out a little bit so maybe a tiny bit too volumized and a little bit frizzy but you know you can just wash your hair and use it again and that all goes away so this has definitely been my standout hair product of the month so moving on to makeup and there has been one thing in particular this month that has really kind of just jumped out at me at being an amazing standout product and it's a foundation from L'Oreal and this is their new Nude Magic Eau de Taint foundation so I have actually seen this on quite a few American blogs recently although it's been kind of different package and I think it has a slightly different name as well possibly um, but then I saw it here and I decided to give it a go because it does look quite interesting and it's been quite a long time since I've got excited about a drugstore foundation. It's basically described as being lighter than water so I think in the advert they pour some into a little test tube of water and it floats and then they put some other foundation in and it doesn't um, but it does really give you a weightless very natural base and I've been a lot more into my natural kind of coverages natural foundations recently. It is a very lightweight texture and they do actually only recommend to use one kind of drop of it so literally go in like that and then what's on your finger should be enough to cover your whole face and I have tried it like that and it gives a really really light coverage you know lighter than tinted moisturiser just a really sheer kind of veil of foundation which is nice if you want a really simple makeup day and you know it does you know do enough for my skin I think I've been a lot more into that kind of look with my foundation however I have been using this on a Real Techniques buffing brush which is of course my foundation brush of choice and I'm um, just pouring kind of like a tiny little bit onto it and then dabbing it across my face and then literally blending and blending. I think because of the really silky texture it has it does take a bit more time to work in that way but if you really kind of spend a few minutes doing it it just gives an incredibly kind of natural flawless finish but still with an amazing amount of coverage so you've barely got any product at all on your skin but it just looks so kind of dewy and flawless and really well covered. So it's definitely a great buildable multi-purpose product. You can either take it quite light or give it more coverage um, and it's actually the only foundation that I've really reached for over the last month which is kind of strange for me because I do like to chop and change between my foundations but this has been number one for me at the moment. Another thing I have here is a powder and you may be a little bit shocked to see me mentioning a powder in a favourites video because I seem to have like declared my hatred for them um, but this is a new one from Soap and Glory. This is called One Heck of a Blot and it's basically just a really sheer translucent powder not much to it at all but I think because my skin is getting slightly drier now we're coming into the colder months I have been using a richer moisturiser and therefore it's not quite my foundation isn't quite lasting as long as it would do just on its own so I've been literally carrying this in my handbag just for touch-ups I haven't been using it in the morning I'm still absolutely loving my hourglass ambient lighting powder to set everything down um, but this I find just with a little puff that comes with just like dotted onto my t-zone just keeps the shine down but it doesn't ever look cakey I think it's it's just so finely milled that it can't ever look too much on your skin so maybe not my top top favorite but definitely a really really handy product to have with you so something I've really been loving this month is matte lipsticks and um, I find it quite hard to get hold of them I do really like a matte finish especially when it comes to a bright lipstick I think if you've got a bright color on and it's glossy as well it can just be a bit too much sometimes so I always really look out for the matte colors um, but matte have recently released their retro matte collection. I say recently but it was probably ages ago. I'm not really the best at keeping up to date with things like that. So I've got two colours from the collection. This is um, Relentlessly Red which is pretty much a pink, not a red at all so I don't know why it's called that. That's what I'm actually wearing on my lips today. And I do also have the colour Dangerous which is a really bright standout red. Um, I seem to have lost it though. It's probably in a handbag somewhere. I can't find it at the moment. But it's actually the colour I wore to the Cosmopolitan Blog Awards which a few of you asked me about. I've got another one here from Sleek which has been in my collection for quite well I've probably talked about it quite a lot um, and it's called Papaya Punch and it's just a really nice really orangey coral that one I think Sleep do amazing coloured lipsticks they also have these really cool things too which are called Matte Me um, Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Creams and um, these are great they're kind of like a lip gloss but they go on matte and really really pigmented so basically like a lipstick with a little dough applicator which you're seeing quite a lot these days I think with the hourglass ones the lip lacquers and I think the Rimmel Apocalypse ones um, but they're just so easy because you get such a precise line with a little applicator so those come in really great colours as well and last of all I have another pink I seem to be really into pink when it comes to my lips at the moment and this is from Smashbox this is called Electric Pink so the last makeup product I have here to talk about is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is kind of a funny one because I wasn't sure if I even liked it at all when I first got it it's a very different texture to what I've been using before which was the Origins Plant Scription Concealer which I still absolutely love still one of my most used products um, but this has got more of a kind of fluffy creamy consistency so how I was applying it with a kind of real techniques brush and just buffing it in wasn't quite working so I switched to using my fingers and I did find it went on a lot nicer I really like to use this more around my face I find the coverage is just amazing you literally need the tiny 
tiniest little dab and it covers up anything at all but under my eyes I think it's just a bit slightly too heavy and also the shade is a bit light it seems to match perfectly on my face but then it's just too light under my eyes so I'm sticking to using my Origins one but I've kind of made a little duo of the both of them and they seem to be working together really nicely so this is definitely an amazing amazing coverage concealer if you've got kind of things to cover up so looking out the window right now it's grey and raining and all the trees are starting to turn brown so I think we can officially say it's now autumn and I've been really cracking out the autumn nail colours. I've got three here that I've been really really enjoying and they're all pretty much the same shade, they're all the real very kind of rich burgundy tone. So we've got the Chanel um, Rouge Noir, which I've done a post about recently, so I'll link that below. And this has been probably my favourite of the three. I've worn this non-stop. I've put it on kind of time after time after wearing it, and it may be something to do with the really, really bad formula of this, um, which tends to chip after a couple of days, but I can't help myself from just putting it on again because it's such a great colour. And then I have Essie's Bordeaux, which is a standard burgundy colour. You cannot go wrong with this shade. It's so, so lovely. You can kind of give it quite a sheer coat and it's more red or you can really build up the layers and it gets a real deep kind of wine colour. And then last of all is Essie again and this is Luxedo. I really like this colour. This is almost a black, it probably is coming up black on the camera screen but it's got just a hint of purple in it, that's what I'm actually wearing on my nails today. Um, but I really like dark, dark nails but it's nice when they have like just a kind of hint of some other colour in them. Um, so that's a really really lovely one if you don't quite want to wear a black black but you want something that is still quite deep. So I feel like this video has already run quite long but I have one last thing to talk about and it's a skincare product. And you've probably all been waiting for me to talk about skincare, I know I haven't really mentioned it at all, um, but like I said in one of my last videos, I've really fallen into a regime that I'm really happy with and I really like, so I will be doing a proper skincare routine video for you soon, um, and talking about all the things that I've been using. But at the moment, this is probably the newest addition to my routine. So previously I have gone on and on about how much I love the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover, um, but I've been trying this one out instead, and I do find that with the Clarins one, it leaves quite an oily, greasy layer of your skin, and um, they're both a bi-phase one so this one does do that as well but it's just not quite as heavy I find it a lot more refreshing and um, it still takes off my makeup amazingly quickly so literally one little sweep and you're done it's all gone I've also been using this a lot to take off my lipstick because I've been wearing more matte ones and they are kind of harder to take off and um, this has just been dissolving them away really quickly and it's kind of nice to use because it isn't too greasy so it doesn't feel too funny putting it all over your lips and um, so yeah that one I've been really loving this month so those are all my September favorites and I hope you enjoyed that and again so Sorry for the massive long break in between filming. I should be getting really back into it now, so you should see a lot more videos popping up on my channel, and I will see you all soon. Bye.